The Journal of Dental Research is one of the leading journals in our field. The Journal of Dental Research is really the most respected journal in dentistry, period. The Journal of Dental Research has impacted not only what, what goes on within dentistry per se, but outside of dentistry in the old medical field as well. The Journal of Dental Research, of course, is the most prominent dental research journal in the world. The profession in general has grown tremendously because of the knowledge that we have generated. When the journal started in 1919, this was a period where there were only a handful of dental journals. All you needed was a pair of pliers and a string to rip teeth out. That was pretty much dentistry. When I came into the field, there was water fluoridation, uh, and then came fluoride toothpaste uh, in the 60s. A hundred years ago, if you look at the literature and the Journal of Dental Research, it was very basic, very important to understand the chemistry of dental diseases. Now we've learned a lot, a tremendous amount, more than we knew a hundred years ago. So it's a much bigger picture. Looking at these pivotal times in history that when you look at them now, they, they seem like very simple uh, findings that really helped steer the field in a different direction. And so it was very important when William J. Guys started the, the Journal of Dental Research, had a firm foundation in science and new information. The peer review is of high rigor, high caliber. It's a, a journal that is very broad in its ability to capture our profession in its totality. The ultimate goal is to benefit the patient's health. We have a very strong editorial board and peer reviewers who help support the, the Journal of Dental Research. They help maintain this very high quality of papers that come to the journal. Seeing that the journal remains so broad-based to really work to cover these areas that other journals in dentistry really don't do. High impact journals such as the Journal of Dental Research uh, help us legitimize the whole field it's in the eyes of our colleagues from all different fields. It's really the exemplar journal and one looks to it for the discoveries that can be um, translated into clinical practice. So really it is like the model journal. JDR is without a doubt the leading uh, journal in dental research and I think without it the research community really wouldn't have the kind of mechanism for disseminating really high impact research. And as a dental student in the 80s, I was, I was reading JDR papers and I knew that if it was published in JDR, it was, it was good research. I've utilized this uh, journal uh, extensively throughout my career and continue to do so uh, to present the best science that's related to oral diseases. If you just looked at the JDR over the past year, I think you'd have a beautiful snapshot of what the future of our profession will be. Translational research is a big thing. One of the areas in translational research is stem cell biology. If you can use stem cells to regenerate lost tissues, I think that's a real important discovery. As uh, science matures, you're going to see JDR again, again taking a leadership role in making sure that high quality science is published. I think uh, the only thing that's going to limit the uh, quality of science done by the next generation generation is their imagination. Well, looking at our young people in the dental, oral, and craniofacial research community, it's going to be an exciting time for them. I think with all of the advances in biotechnology, also our ability to look at big data and looking at big patient populations to help promote dental public health. And so there are so many resources available. So I think that uh, the future is bright uh, for young people embarking in this area.